Hi guys, welcome to Android Pro YouTube channel. In this channel, we post tutorials that are very detailed, beginner friendly, and very easy to understand. So, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful underboss corset using the easiest method. If you are interested and you want to see how this was made, please keep watching. And if today is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, don't forget to drop a like and a comment. So I'll be drafting on my pattern paper first before transferring it to my main fabric and the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to draw a straight line at the top of my paper this way which is going to serve as my shoulder line. Next I'll go ahead to insert my vertical measurement which is my shoulder to bust point. My shoulder to bust point is 10.25, shoulder to under bust is 13.25 and my shoulder to my half length. I'll go ahead to mark the same thing on this other side after which I'll draw a straight horizontal line with my ruler like this. So I'm going to label this part as the boss point, here is the under boss, while this part is just going to serve as the half length. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert half of the shoulder measurements on the shoulder line. So I'm going to divide my shoulder by 2 and mark. Next, I'll come down by 1 inch from this point for the shoulder slope. Then I'll go ahead to insert my armhole depth of 7.5 inch. After which, I'll go ahead to draw the armhole line with my ruler like this. So this part is not really needed in the tutorial. I'm making this so that you will know where we are taking our underboss corset from. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to take out the waist that and in doing that I'm going to go ahead to mark half of my nipple to nipple measurement on my boss point line and also on the half length line after which I'll connect the two points together using a straight line with my ruler like this. So after connecting the line, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to take out a waist that and I'll be marking 0.5 inch on both sides like this. After marking the 0.5 on both sides, I'm going to be coming down by 1 inch from the boss point area. After which I'll go ahead to connect it to my half length line using my ruler like this. After drawing the dart, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to measure what I have between my boss point and the underboss. So what I have here is 3 inch. So I'm going to go ahead to mark the 3 inch on this side like this and I'll do the same thing on the other side also. I'll mark the 3 inch on the other side this way. So whatever you have between your boss point and your underboss, you mark it at those points. Next I'm going to go ahead to connect it to my underboss using the curve pass of my ruler like this. So after connecting it, you should have a half circle like this. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert my boss circumference on the chest line. So I'm going to go ahead to mark my boss divided by 4 and mark. After marking it, I'll also be marking a sewing allowance of 1.5 inch on the side like this. And on the waistline, I'll be marking my waist divided by 4. I'll go ahead to mark it. After marking it, I'll also go ahead to me measure what I have on this that area. I'll replace it on this side. Then I'll add my sewing allowance of 1.5 inch. After which, I'll go ahead to connect the sides together with a straight line like this. So basically, this is what the under bust is going to look like. We'll not be needing the upper parts of the basic bodies here. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut it out. But I'll not be cutting it out fully. I'll just cut out the parts I'll be needing. Then I'll use it to draft the back of the corset. So just watch what I'm doing and follow the same process. So next I'm going to go ahead to do is to cut out the back before I come to cut off the cuff and also the that area. So now I'm going to go ahead to cut the back and I'll be placing the front on a fresh paper this way because I'll be drafting the back on this new paper I just added. So the first thing I'll go ahead to do is to mark a zip allowance of 1.5 inch on the center back this way. I will not be adding a zipper to this dress but for the sake of those I want to add a zipper to the ass. That is why I am making this zipper allowance. After marking the zipper allowance, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to place the front on it this way, starting from here, the zipper allowance top. I'm, I'm going to go ahead to secure the front on the back using my office pin like this. Okay. 
after securing it with my pin the next i'm going to go ahead is to take note of this dart area so i'm going to go ahead to mark the dart area like this after which i'll go ahead to draw the hem of the underboss corset on the back pattern this way and i'll be doing the same thing on the side also i'll go ahead to draw the side like this but for the upper part i'm going to be drawing a little bit just to take note of where the upper part is going to be next i'm going to go ahead to remove the front block from the back like this So I'll be dropping the back aside first, then I'll go ahead to cut out the front block of the underboss corset. So just watch where I'll be cutting out so you don't cut out the wrong place while cutting yours. So this is what the front is going to look like. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to work on the back of the underboss corsets we are making and the first i'll be the first thing i'll be doing is to draw the dots remember we marked the dots area so i'm going to go ahead to draw the dots of the back of the corset we are making after drawing the dot next i'm going to go ahead to do is to draw a straight line to the zipper area in a slant way like this so this is what the back is going to look like next i'm going to go ahead to cut it out like you see me doing in the video so after cutting this is what we are going to be having so if you be adding the part to yours you leave it like this but for me i'll be taking off this part because i'll not be adding the part to this tutorial i'll be adding a loop and i'll be needing just this part of the back so i'm going to go ahead to locate to draw an arrow to indicate the upper part of the back of the corset so here we have the front and here we have the back the next i'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut out my fabric using this pattern that has been drafted already So after cutting my fabric, this is what it is going to look like. I went ahead to add a sewing allowance of 0.5 inch all around except for the side. And I also did the same thing for the back. I added a sewing allowance of 0.5 inch except for the side. And you will be cutting this part on fold. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut out my lining and also to attach my interface to my lining and to my main fabric. After which, I'll come back to show you what to do next. So I'm going to to attach an interface to my fabric, this is what it will look like. So here I have the front and the back. I also went ahead to do the same thing for the lining. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to start sewing. And in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to join the sides of the front to the center of the front. So I'm going to be placing it this way. After placing it this way, I'm going to go ahead to join the side like this. So I'm going to go ahead to join this part. I'm going to be securing this part with my pins like this after joining this side i'll go ahead to join the other side this way also like this this is going to be that for the front then next i'll go ahead to join the back to the front also so i went ahead to notch my back i notched the upper part and also the zipper area so that i don't interchange the parts so you need to do this so you don't interchange the parts when it comes to joining I'll go ahead to join the back to the front like this then i'll secure it with my pins and i'll also be doing the same thing for the other side like this so i'm going to go ahead to join the other side to the front block like this so after doing this i'm going to go over my sewing machine to sew all these parts together and i'll also be doing the same thing for my lining also after doing that i'll come back to show you what to do next so after joining the center to the side and the front to the back this is what we have 
and this is what the inner pad looked like i went ahead to open up the seam and give it a good press this is what it should look like and here i have the lining this is what you should have so the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to create my boning channel for the corset i am making so first i'll go ahead to locate the midpoint of this part and i'll draw a straight line with my ruler like this I'm going to be creating a boning channel on this part I just drew. So I'm going to be placing my bias on this part like this. So I'll go ahead to secure it with my pins like this. Then I'll cut out the excess I have below this way. I'm going to be creating another channel on this part where the side meets with the center like this. Then on this side also, I'll be creating another channel like this. So I'll be repeating the same thing on this other side. So I'm creating the channel where I have my seams. That is where I join the center to the side and the back to the front. That is where I'm creating my channel. But so I'll also go ahead to create an extra channel on this part. And in doing that, I'm going to be going in by 1.5 inch from the center back this way and i'll go ahead to draw a straight line so i'll be marking 1.5 inch this way after marking it i'll come i'll go ahead to draw a straight line with my ruler like this so i'll be creating a, a boning channel on this part for of the corset also and i'll be doing the same thing for the other side also So this is what the channels are going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to go by my sewing machine to sew the bias on my fabric. After doing that, I'll come back to show you what to do next. So if you don't want your boning channels to be outside, you can go ahead to make it on the inner parts of the corset. I went ahead to sew the bias to my fabric and this is what it looks like. So this is what you should have after sewing your bias and this is what the inner part looks like. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join my fabric to the lining. So I'm going to go ahead to place my lining on my main fabric like this, making sure that the good face are facing each other and also the sides are aligning. After placing it this way, I'm going to go over my sewing machine to close up this part of the corset this way using my sewing allowance of 0.5 inch. I'm closing the upper part alone. So I'm going to go over my sewing machine to quickly do that. After doing that, I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after stitching down the upper part of the corset, this is what I have. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to notch the curve area, after which I'll turn it over to the good face. So after turning the next I'm going to go ahead to do is to give it a good press then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after giving it a good press this is what it's going to look like. So this is what you should have after giving it a good press. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert a boning to this curve area of the corset. So first you go ahead to place a boning this way to measure the boning that will be fitting into this curve area. Then you go ahead to cut it out. After cutting it out I'm going to go ahead to trim the edge of the boning so that it is not sharp and it doesn't cause any inconvenience when the dress is being worn. So you need to do this to avoid inconvenience after fixing the boning. Then next I'm going to go ahead to place the boning in between my lining and my main fabric like this making sure that it fits into this curve area of the corset. So this part is a little bit tricky and also a little bit difficult for you to do so you need to be very patient and very careful when you are doing this so you are going to be placing your bone in inside it this way making sure that it aligns that is it fits into the curve area of the corset like this so after placing it this way the next thing you are going to go ahead to do is to go over your sewing machine and start stitching close to the boning so you have to be very careful while doing this to avoid breaking your needle and also to avoid making a mistake so you place it this way then you go over your sewing machine and stitch 
from one part of the curve part to the other side like this after doing that i'll also be repeating the same procedure on the other parts of the corset so i'll quickly cover my sewing machine to do this after doing this i'll come back to show you what it looks like so i've gone ahead to attach the boning on the curve area of the corset and this is what we are going to be having so this is what is going to give the corset structure on the bust area so you need to be very patient and very careful while doing this so that you get it right the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert my boning to the boning channels i have here so first i'm going to go ahead to trim the edge of the bone in this way then i'll go ahead to insert it on all I'll go ahead to insert it on the boning channels that I have already created. And also when inserting your boning to your boning channel, make sure that it is 0.5 inch shorter than the boning channel so that there will be room to sew the hem of the corset. So just watch what I'm doing and follow the same process. So after fixing the bone to the boning channel, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to close up the hem of the corset and in doing that, you are going to be turning it over this way and sew on the wrong part. So I'm going to go over my sewing machine to close up the hem. So this part is a little bit difficult because of the boning that has been added to the dress already. So you need to be patient and careful while doing this. So I'm going to go over my sewing machine to close up the side after which I'll come back to show you what to do next. So after closing up the hem of the corset, this is what we have. After sewing, I went ahead to turn it over to the good face and I gave it a good press and this is what it is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to close up the opening I have on this part. So this is the part where you'll be turning the corset from. So next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to fold in 0.5 inch on this part. So I'm going to be folding in 0.5 inch of my fabric on this part this way. Both the fabric and the main lining I'll be folding it in this way. Then I'll go over my pressing table to give it a good press after which I'll come back to show you what to do next. And I'll also be doing the same thing on the other side of the back also. So after folding in the 0.5 inch, this is what I have. You need to give it a good press so it stays in place. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to mark where I'll be fixing my loops. So it depends on how many loops you want at the back of your corset. So first I'm going to go ahead to place the first loop at the edge of the corset this way. The first loop is going to be at this point. Then I'm going to go ahead to place the next one 1.5 inch away from the first one and I'll be repeating the same process for the other parts like you see me doing in the video. So after marking it, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead to place the two pieces together this way. Then I'll replicate the same thing on the other side so that the loops we align after fixing it to the corset. So for the loop, I'll be using this bias for the loop. I've gone ahead to fold the bias into two like this. And this is what I'm going to be using to create the loop for the corset. The next I'm going to go ahead to do is to measure 2.5 inch for the loop. So I'm going to go ahead to measure 2.5 inch like this and I'll cut it out. So you go ahead to cut as many as will be enough for the loop channels you've already created at the back of the corset. So this is what I have. After cutting out the 2.5 inch, the next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to place it in between the my fabric and the lining on the back part like this. So I'm going to go ahead to fold it in and I will place it in between my fabric and the lining and I'll be doing the same thing for the other channels I've also created for the loop. You fold it and place it in between like this. After placing it in between, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to go over my sewing machine and stitch this part together. And when stitching, make sure you stitch close to the edge and make sure that you stitch on the loop so that the loop doesn't pull out when the dress is being worn. So I'm going to quickly go over my sewing machine to do this. So I'm going to head to attach the loop and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's looking very neat. So I also went ahead to fold 
another bias that I'll be using to lace the back of the corset. So the next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to show you what the corset looks like. So here we have the final look of the corset looking so beautiful and very lovely. So you can go ahead to try yours and also drop a comment in the comment section. So if this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to. And also don't forget to drop a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.